Okay, so here I am once again with a, another video for the Motorola Droid Razor slash Max. And today I am going to show you how to, well, how simple it is to root your device. Very simple. You plug your device into your computer. Duh, right? Alrighty. Now. Motorola shows up. No, not worried about that at the moment. Motorola. Okay, we're going to go to not our SD card. Wherever your Motorola files are. Jelly Bean, Root, and Flash. That's what I labeled it. Google Droid Razor Utility. You may find it that way, but I will post links to the places where I actually found them and make it much easier for you to find everything. Okay. And once you get it all unzipped and put on your computer and whatnot, go to the bottom of the folder. It says Windows Utility. Click on it, and there you go. Just that simple. So just press any key. We're going to press any key. This also works as if you mess up your phone trying to do custom ROMs and whatnot, you can always use this to flash official Jelly Bean on, back on it. You'll have to reflash your phone to Cricut as well. And depending on if you have a backup, you may lose your information. But this is a lifesaver. However, we're not going to do that just yet because we just reactivated it on Cricut. Okay, so we're going to skip to option three to root your Motorola device. Three. Okay, it says before continuing, ensure USB debugging is enable that you have it, the latest Motorola drivers installed and that your phone is connected via USB. Please read carefully, follow any instructions provided in the exploit. Press enter to root your device. Okay, phase one. This is all done in real time, so it would be neat to know how long it actually takes to root your phone. As usual, Motorola keeps popping up, and eventually you're going to see a Verizon window pop up on the internet. Okay, the phone is back on, press any key, and there you go. Your device is rebooting again. Okay, and as you see on my phone, I have super users that lets you know that it's rooted and it's resetting again.
And as far as the custom recovery goes, you can either use this utility to have it pushed to your apps or you can download the app and install it yourself either way. But since we're already here, I'll go ahead and show you that as well. It's real simple either way. Alrighty. Now we're going to go to option four. As soon as the phone is done booting. Okay. And we press enter. Oh, see, I already have it. But that will be the only reason why you get a failure is it already exists. So, come back to the phone. And that's another way to make sure your phone is rooted. Up here, see safe strap. See, I have root access already granted. See. Install recovery. Alrighty. Now that you have that all done, power off your device once again. And now upon boot, it will give you an option to go into recovery. Create a ROM slot and flash a custom ROM of your choice. Me, obviously you know what I like, it's on my screen. There's your recovery. You push the menu button right here to go into recovery. It takes a second. And there you go. You have safe strap 3.11. And although you can't see the options, I'm pretty sure you know what the options are. Once you see this video, it goes boot options. You have four different ROM slots that you can choose from. ROM slot one. And you go from there. You have your data partition size, which I usually use one gig unless the ROM itself requires more and you create a slot and you do a custom round. Maybe I'll make another video. Until then, have a good day. And thanks again for joining me. And check out the links and hit the like button. Don't be afraid. Hit me up with some questions. I am not a developer, but I mean, if you do anything that you see me do on a video and it's not working for you, I can at least walk you through those steps if we have the same phone, of course. Have a good day. And see you again soon.